Hello to everyone guys. So today in this video, I will just show you how to create custom add-ons in Odoo 16. So as you can see, I'm using Odoo 16 Community Edition at the moment, and um, I'm using IDE Visual Studio as always. Uh, so in my previous videos, I have just shown you that how to install Odoo 16 and how to configure it with Visual Studio. And um, today i will just show you how to create a custom folder so at the moment in my this is my custom folder and i don't i have only one custom module in my custom folder which is customization so i just want to create a new uh, custom add-on how to do that so first of all make sure that we have got uh, our custom module path in odoo.conf configuration file. So as you can see in odoo.conf file, add-ons paths, I have already given my paths custom here. So this is the first thing, very important thing. You should know that. Um, then we just need to create a new folder in, in our custom uh, module folder. So I just say that my is, uh, practice or I would say test. Right, so now I have got a test folder here, which has got nothing. So the most basic thing we just need to create in our test file, uh, test folders, custom module folder. The first thing we need to create a new file, which is init file dot by. So we just need to, this is how we need to give name for our init file, which is underscore two times underscore init underscore underscore dot pi file. That's it. And the second file we need to create here, which would be a manifest file. So let me just create a new file again. Sorry. New file. And we would say that uh, that is manifest. underscore underscore manifest and again under the same the previous way how we do that the earlier init file okay uh, right so after that we can create another folder here and we say uh, models we can create another folder we can say views and we can start another folder here which we can say uh, static and one more we, we can uh, security right so at this time these are all empty folders for empty folders um, after that in models we open that and we can create a new file in models and we say this is another init file Right, guys, and what we will save in manifest file. Uh, I would say we should copy the manifest file of other module and just copy and paste it in our manifest file. So at this time, this just change the name of this is the name we would say test, and you can just write any version number we would say it's 1.0.0 um, in summary you can write anything i would say test customization or anything you want um, sequence uh, this is the sequence which in what that sequence this application will appear um, in odoo app among other odoo applications so just anything long descriptions of your module anything you can write and here um, you need to write the author name here company name website so according to your requirements whatever you want and here in uh, depends because we are not depending at the moment to anything it's just base you can uh, just leave it like that we are not using uh, we have not uh, made a new module a uh, new model uh, sorry so that's why we just we don't need to give the access rights in our security file uh, and we are not using um, views or project task 
or any view file at the moment. So we can just also leave it there. Um, this is for application true or false. This is for installing your module in the mm, Odoo apps. So this is for that. If you will say false, then you can't see your uh, module there, your application there. Right, guys? So, um, so far, so good. And in this init file, So in your main init file, not the models one, but the, in the main init file, you just need to say that from import dot um, from dot import or sorry. Models. So it will just give the tracks to um, so uh, that the models folder and um, if if we will add there is another thing controllers so we are not adding any controller folder if we will add then we will also write that we are also initializing a controller folder as well so this is it so what so this is just the basic form of uh, module making how we can make a custom module we have already given our custom folder um, name add on uh, a path as well uh, after that we have just so at this time we are not doing any customization or anything but let me just rerun Odoo service and once you do all this basic work what you need to do how to check it that all the work has been done properly we can go in our apps and make sure that our developer mode is on it is on at the moment and we need to update apps list. We need to update and we can also do apply scheduled upgrades as well. And after that, we can search the name of our module, which is test. So this is it. So if you see your test, our module is here for more information we can click on module info so you can see by Odooistic so if you go in our manifest file so Odooistic author is Odooistic and name is test which you can see in this module test and this is the website name and all the information which we have given there we can see it here so if we install this because this won't affect anything because we have not done anything yet we have not added any field or inherited any field or done any customization but this is just to create um, a custom module in Odoo 16 this is the very basic way uh, to do that and very rightful way so I hope you like this video and um, if you like it please subscribe it share it with your friends um, yeah that's it and see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.